Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Fumper here. And yeah, I have a problem. It's my BKS obsession. <laughs> so I pretty much started this channel. My second video was on, on a nice BKS log. And since then, I accumulated quite some more. Um, actually, yeah, my, my log picking journey started with a really start of BKS log. Um, and whenever I see a bargain on BKS logs, I can't resist and I grab those. They are not, um, sometimes they are really cheap to get and then I grab them. And so I accumulated quite a few. And I always warm up in, in a picking session with just like two or three. Pick them from the right side, then put them back in the left side. And this way I rotate through all of my locks from time to time. And yeah, they're really great for learning to pick. And as I mentioned, number my video number two on this channel was um, BKS. And recently I did a blind out of the box pick of a BKS and this worked nicely which i was quite happy about it um but still not enough <laughs> another video about bks logs and this time i couldn't resist when i saw that there was a padlock which uses a, the key set also work for the europe cylinders and I, it was cheap on ebay and i thought yeah i have to get this and yeah there it is quite a massive beast i don't know i imagined it quite smaller for the price i paid but yeah i could have imagined i mean there's all like a half euro in there and i could have imagined the dimensions but still i just wanted to get it because yeah how nice my favorite lock in a, in a padlock body this huge shackle listen to the shackle pop I think you could shim it actually. It's it's key retaining. Um, we can cut it later with Phillips head screw here. Um, here's the key. Actually, quite nice bidding. I actually asked the eBay seller, especially for this bidding. He also had another one, but I wanted this bidding. Really, this low cut, this short pin here behind this long pin, and then just nice. Um, so yeah. Let's get it in a vise and try to get it picked. See you back in a moment. So here we are in a vise. Um, yeah, works fine. And yeah, let's get picking. I will again use this number 12 tensioner for multi pick on the pin side. And really light tension, actually, you don't have to fight any spring tension or so. And then I will start with this uh, V04 steep hook in 0.4 millimeters and start from the back. Five is binding. Click, four, click, and into a fold set. Um, so let's try to if the spools are binding. Yeah. So for the front pins, I use a thicker hook and shallower hook in 0.6 millimeters. Okay, I got two, uh, got one set, but the fourth set dropped. So let's go back to the back. I have four binding, I think. So release a bit of a tension of the tension. And I did not get the fourth set back, so let's check what's going on. Okay, five, click, and four, click. And we're back in the fourth set. So now pick pin two, uh, pin two, try to get over it. Okay, one and two are set now, and still need to set some pins in the back. Force binding again. Actually, let's use a thicker hook. Yeah, 
and cut it open. Nice. Okay. Let's have a look inside. Actually, I haven't gutted it yet. So, I guess it's a usual VKS pin set. I showed already in the other videos, but let's have a look and find out. There goes the core. Yeah, this inside, this attenuator there. And get a pinning tray. We have the C clip. Okay, just locked it back up, but it's not, not dramatic. Okay, get the key. I don't think one need, really needs to shim it, but since I haven't got it, it yet, let's get it anyhow. Uh, let's shim it anyhow. Okay. Ooh. It's, uh, it has six holes. You could pin it up to six pins. Okay, put that here. Let's have a look at the lock body and the pins. So, pin one, yeah. Standard BKS spool. Pin 2, also standard BKS spool. Usually one of them would be steel, actually the first one, but in this case not. Ah, and surprise, this is just a standard in 3. Hmm. And another standard in five and actually let's have a closer look in here do you see in chamber three there's a pin stuck let's see if i can get it out and didn't need to touch pin three while picking so maybe I have to fix that first and do the video again or so. Yeah, I guess the key pins are all standard. How could I actually insert the key if, if this pin is stuck right there? Hmm. Let's have a quick look at the key pins. Yeah, key pins are all standard. So these are the key pins. But actually I want to get this pin out. Hmm. I'll try to fix it and come back to you. So welcome back. It's the next day. And yeah, as you can see, I disassembled everything. And I also have all driver pins back. And here's the one that got stuck in, in chamber three. It's a very short driver. And I think the, the problem was actually um, that if, if you populate it, in addition, it has a very short key pin. And if I put that in, and then this very short type driver on top, you are actually below shear. So 
the spring in this chamber is at shear line. So of course the key will push it at the right height, but if you pick it, there's a chance that, um, well, you pick all pins except pin three, the lock will turn and you will just cut off the spring here. And if you look at the normal spring, it looks like this. And yeah, here's the remaining spring in chamber three. So there's a top missing. So I guess that sheared off in one of the previous picking attempts. And yeah, I got only lucky that it got stuck at shear and I could open the lock somehow and take the body out of the uh, take it out of the, the housing here. Yeah. And what I did to unstuck the drivers in, in chamber three is basically I punched out the, the plug uh, while the core was removed. I just took a, a punch and punched it out towards the Bible. And now I've threaded it and we'll insert a grub screw and put in a new spring. And I will also find a longer driver because, yeah, I don't want to ha have this happen again. So, yeah, I will reassemble everything and then we can still have a pick of a five pin lock. And yeah, for the long run, I actually plan to visit a locksmith, maybe. I mean, there must be key blanks for six pins, huh? <laughs> because this is, a, I've, I've often seen um, core Bibles with six holes from, from BKS, but rarely with the core with six holes. But if you take a normal BKS cylinder, you always have like a sixth hole somehow, but you never find this in the core. So, yep, I will reassemble everything and then see you back in a minute. minute. So, welcome back. Um, it's in the vise already. It's fully pinned up. I just replaced this short driver with a little bit longer one. So, now we cannot snag the spring anymore. So, let's tension it and I think it starts binding from the front even though there are spools you just have to push them beyond the spool part so they will feel springy but they will stay down or at least one the pin one will feel, stay down now pin three is binding Just set the spool in two. Uh, pin three, yeah, it's some in intermediate state. It doesn't want to be picked already. I'll increase the tension a bit, but still three doesn't want to play a ball. Five is binding, releasing tension a bit. Okay. Three dropped, so yeah, put them into intermediate again. And now it's some, some ping pong game between three, four, and five. So I'm changing to a steeper hook on five now. Not set, but some intermediate state. Oh, another click on two. So this wanted to join the party of ping pong. It's really now back and forth between three. Let's take an even steeper hook and play around with five, four, three, even on five. Yeah, four, one and 
two is still fine. Three seems fine. Click on four. One, two, three, fine. Ah, it's open. Nice. Okay. So I won't gut it since I did not change much of the internals and you've seen that already. Um, yeah, quite a challenge with this bidding. Still loving these PSET 88s, even though I'm disappointed in, in the quality of this one because the driver pin was too short. But yeah, I mean, in normal operation, you wouldn't notice, but when picking it, you can snag a spring and that's always not so cool. And yeah, so thanks for watching. Please subscribe and see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.